Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to write the perfect cold email. So whether you're a salesperson, a job seeker, freelancer, or just looking to expand your network, mastering the art of cold email is very essential. You can send email after email, but you'll never get the response that you want. The thing is, these people receive a flood of emails every single day. So your message often gets lost in the shuffle. But don't worry, you can change all that. I'll teach you how to grab the attention get them to open your email, read it, and even respond to it. So in this video, I'll break down what cold emails are and how to write the perfect cold email. Also, by the end of this video, I'll introduce you to a fantastic tool which will help you write the best cold emails and boost your response rate. So I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. Why are cold emails called so? To begin, first let's understand why these emails are called cold emails. It's actually quite simple. They're meant for reaching out to someone you haven't met before. Think of it as this way. Imagine you're organizing an event like a charity fundraiser and you have a list of potential donors, but you've never met them before. So a cold email is like sending a friendly message to these potential donors looking for a positive response. Now you have to understand that the main goal of a cold email is not about expecting immediate action. Instead, the idea is to initiate a conversation and get them interested in your cause. Now you might be wondering, how do I even find the email addresses if I've never had any contact with them before? Well. That's a good question. If you're connected with them on LinkedIn, you can often find their email there. The other option is to check their website because they might have left the contact details there. If all else fails, there are some handy tools like hunter.io and zoom info that can help you track down the emails. Now that we've covered the why and what of cold emails, let's dive into the how, how to actually write compelling cold emails that keep your reader interested. First things first, the subject line, think of it as your golden ticket to getting your email opened and read. If it doesn't catch the eye, chances are no one is going to bother opening it. So how do you craft the perfect subject line? Here are some tips to help you out. Tip number one, personalize it. When you're sending cold emails, one of the best things you can do is make it personal. And I'm not just talking about adding the first name. You can check out their businesses, interests, social media, or even the dreams and hobbies. If you find something unique, do mention it in your subject line. It'll make them feel like your email was just for them and that's how you stand out from the crowd. Now for the second tip, keep it short and sweet. People often check their emails on their phones. So if your subject line is too long, it gets chopped off and that's why it should be short. It needs to be attention grabbing and full of value. And that's why we need to keep our subject lines concise and to the point. For the third tip, make them curious. You want your email to be like a puzzle that they can't resist solving. So make the value you're offering crystal clear. For instance, a subject line like, this is where your posts aren't getting enough likes is like a hook that makes them want to know more, right? But please avoid using clickbait subject lines. You know, the ones that promise a lot, but deliver very little. They are sure to annoy your reader. Keep it honest by matching your subject line to what's inside your email. Now that your subject line has done magic and the recipient is inside your email. Next, let's see how you can keep them engaged. Keep your email short and to the point. We know people are busy and don't have enough time for lengthy emails. That's why you need to get straight to the point. In the first two lines, tell them briefly about how your product and service can solve their issue just as you entered in the subject line. And then you can introduce yourself or your business. Moreover, adding bullet points in your email can be a big help as long paragraphs can be off-putting. Now moving on to the next point, which is to grab the reader's attention right from the beginning. The trick here is to make the email about them and not about you. Let's take Sarah's passion for eco-friendly products as an example. You could start your email with something like, Hey Sara, I've noticed your remarkable love for eco-friendly pet stuff. Your social media is the proof of that. After that, you can introduce yourself or your company, keeping it simple and casual. No need for any bigger fancy words, just connect with what matters to them. Lastly, let's address a common pitfall in cold emailing. You write a fantastic email, but miss a critical element, the call to action. It's that specific next step that you want your recipient to take. In the case of Sara, our call to action can be as simple as, Sara, can we schedule a quick call to discuss eco-friendly pet products? A short and clear CTA makes it easy for your recipient to understand what you want and take action. It's all about simplifying the next steps in your conversation and without it, your recipient might be left wondering what to do next. And that is a missed opportunity, right? Following up. Now, even if you've done everything right and still haven't received a reply, don't be discouraged. You can still send a follow-up email to express your continued interests. It's entirely okay to send three to four follow-up emails if you haven't heard back. After all, 
you've invested time getting to know the person and crafting a personalized email. Remind them that you're eager to hear from them. All right, now that we've covered the valuable tips of crafting the perfect cold email, it's time to introduce you to an AI tool that makes it easy for you to implement all these tips and generate the perfect cold email. Once you're in, search for cold email. Here, you'll start by filling in some key details. Begin with specifying the primary goal for reaching out. Next, you'll provide the details and the highlights of the person you're interested in reaching out. So let's go to LinkedIn to gather this information. Copy the key information from the recipient's profile. And paste it here. Once you've got that covered, take a moment and describe yourself briefly so that they know who's reaching out to them. Then click on create content. As you can see, GrabDirect creates the perfect and personalized email in seconds. It's pretty impressive how it covers all the essential details. But wait, there's more. Let's take another example. This time with a different primary goal. Let's say you're approaching a potential client for a project. So let's fill in the details and click create content. And there you go. Your cold email is ready to go. This is how you can use Gravity Write to write your cold emails. Now you can also change the tone of this email and make it sound professional, casual, or even friendly. To do that, click here, then click here and choose the tone you like. I'll select friendly and click create content. Now remember I mentioned earlier about the importance of follow-up emails. If you haven't heard back from your recipient, don't worry. There's a tool in Gravity Write for that. Simply search for cold emails. Click on follow-up emails and fill in the details. And here we need to paste the original email that we have sent. And you can use Gravity Write's history feature to find the previous generated content. So let's go to history. Here we have the email. So let's click this to view the full content. Now I'm going to copy this and paste it in the follow-up email tool. You can make it even more personalized if you want to. After that, click generate content. And you have a well-written follow-up email that aligns perfectly with your previous email. And that's it. You now have a fantastic tool with you to streamline your cold email process and grab the attention of those recipients whom you've been trying to reach for a while. That's all for this video, guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Website Learners for more content like this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.